a cold kind of wet night not on the Manning turf on the grass here at Corey Lee Field to give to the big guy Patterson the fullback he gets maybe a couple They only give me a yard, if that, it looked like he got a lot further than that. They'll give me a yard to the 32. So it'll be second down and nine for the Bulldogs. The wideouts come to the near side as they split the backfield. The pitch, Brown gets hit as he gets to the 33. Trying to get around the corner. PB stretched it out well. So it'll be second down and eight from the 33 yard line. Jesse Fowler will bring the play in. Whiteouts right and left. One running back behind Jesse Fowler. Gervasio goes in motion to the far side. Fowler over the middle. Rucker makes the catch, splits a couple of defenders, breaks another tackle. Now it's a foot race down the sideline. They're not going to get him. Slips one more tackle as he gets into the end zone and completes a 67-yard touchdown play. And very quickly in three plays, English gets on the board and grabs the lead over Pivity. Rucker has been an outstanding receiver this year. It was just a quick slant Cutting in from the near side to the middle, Rucker made the catch, broke about three or four tackles on the way, and just eluded everybody getting into the end zone. So foul to Rucker. And all of a sudden, English picks up the first first down of the game, as well as the first score of the game. And they're on top, 6 nothing, And there are people still coming into the park to watch the game. Matt Garuti is going to try and kick the extra point. So after two running plays, net two, the 67 yard pass play, and here's Garuti kicking it through to make it seven nothing. So English goes 69 yards in three plays. The quick strike to Charlie Rucker. And just like that, Peabody has to play catch up and not what Peabody wanted. Peabody was hoping they could keep it close into the fourth quarter, not let English jump out on top quickly. English's defense has been playing outstanding in several games. They've, most of the time, the defense has been really good. The offense has sputtered some. And English at four and six, uh, excuse me, three and six, could uh, very easily have at least four or five wins. They lost by a point to Swampscott. They were leading Winthrop going into the fourth quarter. They were leading Beverly late in the first half before a fumble gave Beverly the ball at the one yard line and they took the lead going into halftime. And so there are one, two or three games that English could have won. They could be very close to 500 or better. The short kick and that's Betancourt getting pretty good field position for the Peabody Tanners on that short kickoff. The ball will be at the 39 yard line of uh, Peabody. So they'll have it first and 10. Tom Siula is the quarterback for the Tanners. Nick Heal, Scott Diefenbach, the principal runners for Peabody as they go eye formation in tight. They run it off the Peabody left side. That's Mike D'Addario getting across the 40. Gets it out to the 42. 
for a pickup of three. It'll be second down and seven. This is Heo, and he might have got back to the line of scrimmage. And that's if they're charitable, giving him a good spot. So we'll give him a break and say no gain. He actually lost maybe a half a yard. It's going to be third and long for Peabody as they send wideouts right and left. Siula throws, and there you go with the wet and the slick and the mud and the grass. Slipping and sliding was heel. The pass was thrown to the outside. He was breaking to the inside. So the English defense gets it done, and Peabody's going to have to kick it away. So on fourth and eight, PB will kick it away. Fielded at the 35 and dropped at the 35. Ballesteros all over Byron Brown right at the English 35 yard line. Byron looked like he, if he gets by that one man, he had some room to run, but Ballesteros wrapped him up, knocks him down at the 35 and English We'll have it for the second time at their 35 yard line. A four yard improvement over their first start. They started at the 31 and it wound up with a 67 yard touchdown pass. They give it to Brown. The ball goes to the ground. Peabody is saying they have it. Now we're waiting for the official. The official says they have it as well. Scott Diefenbach recovered the fumble. So the first big break goes to Peabody. Out at the 37-yard line. So Brown picked up two, but then Peabody came up with the football. And they'll have it first and 10. They go wing right in the backfield. The pitch not going far, maybe losing yardage. Seaforth with the hit on Diderio. And he's going to lose a couple. To the 30. To the 39. They go quickly without a huddle. Diefenbeck is wrapped up again. Rucker and Dan Lucia wrapping him up. And now we got a flag on the play, and that's going to cost English. They, they made a great defensive play, knocked him back to the 41 for a loss of two. Instead of third and 14, it's going to be a first down for Peabody because English is going to pick up a big penalty. So Rucker and Lucia combined for the big stop, but now it's going to cost English because PB is going to get a big first down all the way down to the 26-yard line of English. So they pick up their first first down of the ball game by way of penalty, and again, they go wing right, everybody in tight. Siula lets it fly too strong over the head of Kevin Scopp. And we got an illegal procedure against Peabody. And it has to be the fact that they blew the whistle stopping the play because English probably would have refused the penalty. So it's going to be first and 15 for the Tanners. They send the white out to the near side. The draw play to Diderio. He gets good running out room. Fowler and Hill make the stop. He gets it down to the 20 
for a pickup of 11. So he gives the penalty plus back. It's going to be second down and four from the 20 yard line. Again, they go wing right this time. They keep everybody in tight. Heo gets wrapped up. Hill broke smartly inside, wrapped him up. Rucker at the bottom of the pile. He got back to the 20-yard line for no gain. So it's going to be third and four. Actually, he lost. It is third and five. Somehow they have to get to the 15. They should have only have to get to the 16 because the original line of scrimmage was the 26. Siula dropping back, trying to throw the screen. Big defensive play. Paul Lindsay read it well, and the screen is going to go for lost yardage. They try to throw the screen, letting English come in. They lose all the way back to the 26 for a loss of six. So the pass play loses six yards. Whiteouts right and left, fourth and long. Siula lets it fly long and deep. There's Seaforth with great coverage. They lobbed it up, and Seaforth was step for step, went high in the air and knocked it away. Good defense by Seaforth and the Bulldogs. Peabody doesn't take advantage of the turnover. And English will get the football back at their own 26. So the turnover plus the big penalty. Peabody still couldn't take advantage. Seaforth knocks down the last play, the intended pass play, and English will take over at their 26. Tipped at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Kevin Scott got a big paw up and knocked it loose, knocked it away from everybody. It'll be second down and 10. They try to get it out to Byron Brown and give him some running room on the outside. So it'll be second and 10 for the Bulldogs. To pitch to Brown. Patterson with a big block out front. Gets around the corner. Scott got an ankle on him. Gets it out to the 30 yard line for a pickup of four. That'll be second down and six. Seven nothing English. They scored in the third play of the ball game, a 67-yard pass play from Fowler to Rucker. Garuti's point was good, and that's where we are here in the first period. Fowler gets flushed out of the pocket, has to turn around and run. Now he's going to let it fly, and it's incomplete. Good pressure by Peabody forcing Fowler to throw on the move. And English is going to have to kick it away, so Peabody's defense does the job. Charlie Rucker will do the punting. Had to go way up in here for that snap. No pressure put on by PB. That made it a little easier. Now they let it bounce around. And PB's going to have decent field position again. They'll mark the ball at the 46-yard line of Peabody. It's only a 24-yard punt. And Peabody has good field position. This will be their third possession here in the first period. And now we get a whistle stopping the play again.
This is a case of where they, they put the ball right on the 45, the stake is on the 46. So I'm not sure why they blew the whistle. There's no penalty on the play. <clears throat> but PB lost a half a yard just putting the ball down. This is Heo off the right side. Nice hit by Seaforth again as Adgerson made him go a little wider. They give him out to the 48 for a pickup of two. So it'll be second down. I shot seven. I shot eight, a long seven. This is Heo again, gets to the outside, breaks a couple of tackles. He's finally ridden down by Al Sodomo, but not before he gets in English territory and gets a first down. They mark it at, I'm going to call it the 35. That's an 18 yard pickup and a first down. So they pick up their first first down that's not by way of a penalty. And they got a good surge. Heel quickly to the outside. Now they go wing left. Heel again, trying to run it to the other side. Hill makes the nice stop, making good penetration, holding a play to a yard. As he got it just inside, we'll call it the 34 for a pickup of one. So it'll be second and nine for the Tanners. Seven nothing English here in the first period. English trying to give Gary Malaya his 100th win. Heo again, bouncing straight ahead. Patterson with the first hit. Lindsay helped finish him off. As he gets to, we'll give her the 33 and call it a yard. So it'll be third and about eight. And now we got movement, English pointing at Peabody, and now the officials pointing at Peabody. That's the most important product. They're going to push it back to the 38. So now it's going to be third and 13. It was just a little flicker by one of those linemen on the right side. Lifted ahead, a slight movement, that's all it took. Heel trying to go left. Big play, big defensive play by Byron Brown. And you don't want to celebrate like that because the officials might get you a little taunting. So uh, you want to be careful. They put the ball at the 40, so they lose two. So now it's going to be fourth and 15. Rolling, throwing, incomplete. Julio Azu might have got a fingertip on that one. Came all the way across the field from, he's a cornerback on the other side. Broke across and might have got at least distracted the receiver, might have got a fingertip on it. English will take over at their own 40 yard line. We're late in the first period, English leading at 7 0. Letting it fly, it's caught. Byron Brown with the catch. Gets it out near midfield, out to the 48 yard line. A pickup of eight. It'll be second down and two for the Bulldogs.
The power eye in the backfield. This is Brown running the football. He'll squeeze it into Peabody territory and pick up a first down. Getting it, we'll call it the 46. He picks up six. That's their first first down since Rutgers catch for the touchdown. Way back on the third play of the, of the football game. So first and 10 for the dogs. And now they're saying, I believe they're saying, that's the last play of the first period. So the officials don't have to go too far to move the football, just about at midfield. English wins the first period, 7-0 on the touchdown pass from Fowler to Rucker. And they're on the move, picking up a first down. They have it in Peabody territory at the 46. And this big one for English in the Northeastern Conference. This is the last one before Turkey Day which is the big one on the schedule, English and classical. Peabody, for many years, played Saugus, and uh, now that has gone by the boards. Saugus opting out of playing the large teams in the Northeastern Conference with, I don't think there's any exceptions. I don't, I don't think they play anybody. Staying, they came back, they dropped out of the conference last year, came back in this year playing the, in the small division and have really played well. One of the best records for Saugus in a long time. They beat PB last year on Turkey Day and now PB's opponent will be Malden Catholic. Fowler rolling and he gets hit by Scott. And he's going to lose yardage. Actually, they're going to put him right back at the line of scrimmage. So no gain in the play. It'll be second down and 10. Seven nothing English. One play into this, the second period. They go power eye in the backfield to give to Brown. Not going to get much. They might have given him a yard as he gets gang tackled at the 47. So it's going to be third and nine. Double White, I'll see the side from the shotgun. The fake, it's tipped and caught at the 41 yard line. Kevin Squap went just up in the air, picked it out of the air, he runs it in for a touchdown. They were gonna throw a quick out to the near side and Squap just went up in the air and just caught it. And there was nobody there. He just ran by everybody and runs it into the end zone for a touchdown. Now there's a little bit of a discussion. I'm not sure why. It is a touchdown. Fowler drop, a quick drop, was going to make a quick throw to the near side. And Scott just went up in the air and just picked it out of the air. The, only, the pass only went about two, two or three yards. Scott picked it up and had clear sailing into the end zone. So he takes it 41 yards for the score. And just like that, it's a 7-6 game. And now Peabody will make a decision to try and take the lead or tie it. And they're going to go for two. Now they're going to go for one. Provincial will try and tie it up. Snap. 
it's down and he kicks a ground ball. Never got it in the air. That ball went, didn't go over the lineman, it went under the lineman. Everybody was looking up to see where it went. It went right between the legs of the lineman and rolled right through the end zone like a ground ball to a shortstop. So the kick is no good. English holds on to a one point lead here at Corey Lee Field. And let's see if that gives any kind of momentum to the Peabody Tanners. Kevin Scott with an uh, exceptional defensive play. Just uh, do what most, what most coaches tell you to do when you're at the line of scrimmage. It's a pass. You can't get to the quarterback. Throw your hands up in the air and try and block the view or block the pass. He didn't do either of those. He caught the pass and ran it 41 yards for a touchdown. Uh, Provincial will kick it off. Byron Brown straight ahead. And he maybe he's lucky to get caught for a, a late hit as Ballesteros with Brown down. Hit him again. He gets it out to the 35-yard line. That's where English will have it. So first and 10 for the dogs at their own 35 yard line, holding now onto a one point lead, seven to six. The difference now is Matt Garuti's left foot for the extra point after the touchdown pass from Fowler to Rucker. Justin Young is a wide out to the near side. They fake the pitch, they give it to Patterson, the big guy lumbers across the 40. Out to about the 42 for a pickup of about seven. It'll be second down and three. Pazer coming back. He's a couple of, I think it was the last game he came back after a, an injury. He had his best game going over 50 yards, scoring a couple of touchdowns. and He got hurt, and they missed him in the backfield blocking, and and defensively as well. Patterson, the lone running back behind Fowler. They give it to Patterson again. Side steps and gets a first down. Out to the 48. So he picked up six more. So Patterson on two carries gets English a first down. Again, they send a couple of wideouts. Rucker is the tight end to the far side. Now motion by Gervasio to the near side. The quick out and the pass downfield. Wide open and a little bit behind Rucker. It was to the back shoulder as he was breaking down the field. He was wide open. The two quarterbacks in the game, the little Shovel out to Justin Young, the lateral, and then the, the throw downfield, and they almost connected for another one. Rucker was behind the defense, had a couple of steps to pass just over the back shoulder. If they could have let him a little more, they had a touchdown. Byron Brown with Patterson out front, gets around the corner, and Heo is going to come up with the fumble recovery. English coughs it up again, second turnover. At the 47 yard line. So Brown would have picked up five, instead he gives up the football. Peabody gets it back. 
Heel gets wrapped up. Hill at the bottom of the pile made the initial hit. And they get just about back to the line of scrimmage. This is Heo again. Edgerson wrapping him down from behind. At the bottom of the pile is Azu along with Dan Lucia. He gets it to the English 48. And it's going to be third and about six. <coughs> the draw play. And as uh, D'Addario, he'll pick up a first down. Gets it down to the 41, a pickup of seven. Third first down by Peabody. One of those coming on a 59 penalty against English. And it's first and 10 at the English 41 yard line. Siula dumps it off in and out of the hands of Kevin Scarp. Rolling right, trying to hit Scarp in the flat just a little bit too long. And it'll be second and 10 from the 41. Power eye in the backfield. Yes. Siula lets it long and deep downfield. Incomplete. Brown, Azu, Seaforth had the receiver covered like a blanket. There was no way they were going to get that one complete. So it's going to bring up a third and 10 for Peabody. We're in the second period, seven to six, English on top of Peabody here in this Northeastern Conference. Siula rolling, looking, dumps it off. There's a flag on the play. I'm not sure they call that complete or not. It's against Peabody, a holding penalty. And that's going to push him back. So now it's going to be third and 20. And he only gave him, he only gave him a, a, a nine yard penalty because the stake was at the 40 yard line. So they only get penalized back to the 50. It should have been to the 49. The wide out goes to the far side, the wing to the near side. The pitch, Stephen back, rolling, lets it fly back the other way. Incomplete. A collision. Brown and Azu there. Bang in. They try to send Siula back the other way. Stephen back, when Siula was hurt, played quarterback. And he rolled to the near side and threw it back to the far side, trying to get English coming to the near side. Hoping they could find Siula down the, the English sideline. And Peavy's going to have to kick it away. The snap is a ground ball. Provincia heals it well, gets the kickoff. It takes a pretty good bounce for Peabody all the way down to the 16 yard line. So English will have it at their 16 yard line.
English scored in the third play of the football game. Since then, they've coughed it up twice to Peabody moving the football. Peabody got back into it with an interception by Kevin Scott to get them back within seven to six, and that's where we are. As English breaks the huddle, comes out from their own 16-yard line, and they go shotgun. Fowler is going to take off and run with it. Gets around the corner, slides, looking for a first down. I think he got it. They haven't moved the stakes yet. Now the official is signaling first down. They actually get out to the 27-yard line. Actually, a 20. I'm going to call it the 26 and give him 10. Ball might be the 26 and a half, but he got enough for the first down. So first and 10 for the dogs on the broken scramble by Fowler. Rucker is the wide out to the near side, three others to the far side. And this time they're not going to get it off. Fowler gets wrapped up from behind. He's going to lose back to the 25. So it'll be second down and nine, uh, second down and 11, excuse me, for the dogs from their own 25 yard line. We're in the second period here at Coy Lee Field. Northeastern Conference football action, Lynn English seven to Peabody Tanners six. Peabody in their first year in the Northeastern Conference. Now Fowler in trouble again. He's going to get wrapped up and knocked down for another loss. They put it back at the 24 for another yard. He was lucky he only lost a yard. It's going to be third and 12. From the shotgun, Patterson back to block. They let it fly, looking for Brown, overthrew him. Incomplete, and English will have to kick it away. So we chose you up front. BB's defense played well. They had a, they had a couple of tough games. They lost, uh, English lost a tough game to Salem, 17-13. Peabody lost a tough game to Salem in overtime. Rucker handles the low snap, gets a high short kick away. Takes a bit of a Peabody bounce. It's going to be inside the 40 at, at the English 39 yard line. And Peabody has had their chances. They recovered a fumble at the English 37. They had a, the ball at the 46. They recovered a fumble at the Peabody 48. Now they're going to start at the English 39. So field position has certainly favored the Tanners. But English's defense has come up big. The only touchdown given up by English was given up by the offense with an interception. Nick Marcos doing an excellent job with this young team. It's a very young English defense as Peabody spreads Five wideouts left and right. Seula heals the high snap, gets the pass away. Incomplete. Brown with the coverage. Didario was the intended receiver. It'll be second and ten.
They send two white outs to the far side. The tight end to the near side. Siula, they got away with that a little bit. It looked like they jumped. Siula got wrapped up, breaks the tackle, brings it clear back the other side, and can't break the other tackle. Brian Castellanos did a nice job of staying home on defense. They lose all the way back to the 44. Looked like he might have some running room. He broke a tackle running to the English sideline, the far side. Broke it back clear across field. Might have had some running room, but Castellanos closed quickly. And a good open field tackle knocked him down for a five-yard loss. And it's going to be third and 15 for Peabody. Heo goes in motion to the far side. Siula looking to throw. Goes deep downfield. Intercepted. Seaforth with the pick. Taryn Seaforth went high in the air and stole it away from the receiver. And English gets the football at their own 35-yard line. So the nice return also, he returned it about 15 yards. Gets English pretty good field position at their own 35-yard line. Leading 7-6 to six late here in the second period. And he'll go shotgun. And uh, we got a timeout. Peabody, I think, called the timeout. Seven six, English. The difference. Matt Garudi's extra point kick after English's touchdown on the third play of the game. A sixty-seven yard pass play from Jesse Fowler to Charlie Rucker. Peabody has had numerous chances. They intercepted a pass and ran it back forty-one yards for a touchdown. But they've had great field position. And even after the last shot punt, they had the ball at the English thirty-nine yard line. And opted not to run the football. Try to put it up in the air, and Seaforth comes up with a big pick and gives the ball to the Bulldogs at their own 35-yard line. PB hoping to keep it at 7-6 going into the locker room at halftime. They get the football to start the second half. And they'll, it'll be a one-point game with shrinking it down to two periods. English would like to do a little better than that. Motion now to the near side. The quick strike to Rucker. He's loose again down the sideline, outrunning everybody. The line is not going to catch him, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Again, they had Rucker one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He threw the quick strike. He caught it, and uh, the only guy to catch him was a lineman, and that was a mismatch. Sixty-five yards on the pass play, and they threw a flag. I think, and I, I can't believe they're doing this. Charlie Rucker, if you watch, these kids are watching NFL and maybe even college, and seeing what these guys do. Charlie Rucker, when he caught it, realized he had beaten the the defensive tackle, who was never going to catch him. As he got to about the five-yard line, he kind of put his hand up in the air, celebrating. And I don't think he was taunting. I don't think he was sticking it in the face of anybody. I think that's a terrible call. They're going to call unsportsmanlike against Rucker for a little celebration. And you've got to be happy over a 65-yard touchdown play. You can't just walk in a little morose, thinking, oh, hum, another touchdown. The young, it's a young kid celebrating, and they, they're going to nail him in English for 15 yards. Young over the middle to Gervasio, who's had a terrific season for the Bulldogs, makes the catch. So very quickly, they turn Seaforth's interception into points. They go 65 yards in one play. 
and English. And that's a very important two-point conversion because now it puts English up by two scores. A touchdown, a two-point conversion won't do it for Peabody. It's a nine-point lead at 15 to six. A lot of football left, but still, Peabody has not been moving the football. And they would need two scores, and this defense has been stingy, giving up virtually nothing, even with the good field position that Peabody has. So Jolly Rucker putting on a show here in this first half. He's got two catches for 131 yards. 132 yards. 67 and 65 yard touchdown passes. And English will kick it off. We are very late here in the second period. And that's a big score for the Bulldogs with time winding down here. They kick it away to Peabody. Diefenbach with a pretty good return. Dan Lucier on the top. Sam Gawar, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, also win on the stop. Diefenbach gets it out to the 46 yard line of Peabody. And again, Peabody has got very good field positions to work with, but they haven't been able to do much. They've only got three first downs in this first half, one of them by way of penalty. So the defense has really shut them down. They go wing right, Siula rolling, dumping it off, incomplete, looking for Scop. It was defense back, actually, 41, not 21. Castellanos had the coverage. Peabody's trying to beat the clock. Throwing the football, but not going downfield, throwing it short. Trying to get it to Scorp and let him do something with it. I don't think he would have done much. Castellanos was all over him, even if he did make the catch. The quick strike again. And again, Castellanos right there with the coverage was a little bit behind the intended receiver. And it's going to be third and 10. Wide outs right and left. The draw play to the Dario not going far. Castellanos, along with Paul Lindsay, making the hit. They get out to, we'll call it the 49, and give him three. And with time really winding down here, they'll punt. And we'll probably have the end of the first half. The kick is away. English lets it bounce. It takes a good puberty bounce. It's going to drop dead at the 21-yard line. So under a minute left, Gary Malaya, what will he do? Looking for his 100th win. I don't think you're going to see him do too much out of the ordinary here, deep in their own territory. They want to give Peabody another shot at the 21. But I've, knowing Gary the way I do, I've seen him before. Just play the game, let it fly, not worry about the consequences. Justin Young, the quarterback, motion to the near side. They're going to put it up. They throw it out quickly. Fowler lets it fly deep, looking for a rucker again. He was behind the defense. He's been behind the defense the entire first half. That's the second time they've, he's got behind him and they haven't been able to connect with him. 
And he has two scores. Tough throw for Fowler. He was to the near side throwing it down the middle or the far side. It was a long throw for a high school football player. So Gary Malaya, not sitting on a lead, not worried about time running down and not trying to take a lead to the locker room. He's trying to score again. And why not when you get the quick strike ability of Charlie Rucker? Again, motion to the near side. Young fakes it, rolling, has time, lets it fly deep. Behind the defense again is Rucker, and they're not going to get him. Unbelievable. What a first half Charlie Rucker has had. Justin Young put it right on the money, and once again, Rucker had two or three steps on the defense, and Young hit him perfectly, and Ballesteros was the last defender and could not get a hold of him, and truck. Rucker goes in the end zone. He's had three catches in the first half for 211 yards. All three of the English touchdowns. And now it's 21 to 6, 79 yards. So in this second period, the last two possessions, English has run three plays. A 65-yard touchdown to Rucker, an incompletion where Rucker was behind the defense and just missed a touchdown, and a 79-yard touchdown play. So they get three plays, two touchdowns, and now they look for two again. The pitch to Fowler, throwing it back to Young, makes the catch, dies for the end zone. People are saying no. The official says yes, he broke the plane. That all-out dive for Young got the ball across the plane. They get the two-point conversion. The two quarterbacks combine. And English has opened up a 17-point lead. So now it's a three-score lead. So Gary Malaya didn't sit on anything. He said, we're getting Rucker behind the defense all night. Let's take advantage of it. And they just fired it deep. And there was Charlie Rucker once again. And Young put it right between the two and the eight on his jersey, a perfect pass. Rucker did not have to break stride. And he just outran the last defender, Ballesteros, into the end zone. This time he did not celebrate. Didn't want to get another 15-yard penalty. And we'll have just enough time maybe for the kickoff and maybe a play. Not much more than that. As people will run it back and get it across the 30 to about the 32. So a big first half for the Bulldogs and Charlie Rucker. English has six first downs, three of them, 211 yards passing for touchdowns to Charlie Rucker. He's got half the first downs and all of the touchdowns across the 35 to the 37 goes to Dario. And standing over the football and waiting around, that's going to be the last play, I believe. And they pick up the football, that is the last play. So a huge half for English and Charlie Rucker. They lead it over Peabody, 23-6, to six, with one half of football left, looking for Gary Malaya's 100th win of his career. As we start the second half, English will kick it off with a big 23-6 to six lead over Peabody. And a big hit. Jared Dwyer getting down, making a big hit on the kickoff. And the ball is going to be at the 20-yard line of Peabody. Not much to choose between the two teams running the football. Peabody ran for 38. English ran for 42. The difference in the game, Peabody passed one completion for minus six yards, giving them only 32 yards of offense in the first half. Three first downs, one of them by penalty. English had the big 219 yards passing, 211 of them 
by Charlie Rucker as Heo gets about four. Rucker with three touchdowns, 211 yards passing. Justin Young, three for 152 and two TDs. Fowler had one touchdown pass of 67 yards. This is Heo again being gang tackled. As he gets out across the 30, that should be a first down by plenty as he gets out to the 33. So he picked up nine. So quickly on two plays, Peabody picks up a first down. It took him a long time to get one. Paul Lindsay with the hit on heel. As he gets to the 36, he picks up three. They have almost half as many yards on these first three plays as they had in the entire first half. They go wing to the far side, and it's just a steady diet of heel. Lindsay with the hit, helped out by Lucia. They get a couple. Third and about four. And here comes Heo again, trying to turn around the corner. Gets around the corner. Byron Brown and Seaford knock him down, but he's got another first down. So just a steady diet right now of Heo. As he gets it to the 46 for a pickup of seven. They go power eye in the backfield. They run straight ahead. Yet another carry by Heo. Sam Gawar getting up after the hit, out to the 49. So give him three in a play, it'll be second down and seven. And they just keep running. Hill, they're going to wear this young man out. Hill and Gawar, Sodomo, Lucia and Lindsay all in the middle of that hit. They get to the English 48. They pick up three more. It'll be third and four for the Tanners. Whiteouts right and left. It's time to go to Dario, his first carry of the second half. Adjison, Gawar, and Lindsay all in on the hit. Well, he'll pick up another first down. Out of the English, 41. The old draw play picked up seven. Eng English defense giving up more yards than they gave up in the first half on this one drive. PB just settling back and going power football, running right at the defense. Again, the power eye. This time they get hit in the backfield. Gawar came in and made the big hit. No gain in the play. And you know, I think I'm saying Sam Gawar, and I think that 34 is... Troy Adjison. He's listed on the roster as 24. Gawar is listed as 34. And I think uh, in uh, they have different numbers 
home and away for Adgerson. So I think that's Adgerson that's 34 and not Gore. I mean, I'm sure that Sam doesn't mind me mentioning his name on all these hits, but I think it's Adgerson that's making all these stops. His father, of course, was a pretty good football player at Lintec. Pretty good athlete at Lintec. This is Ballesteros with his first carry. Can't get away from Hill. Another young, another young man, Sam Hill, having a terrific year for the Bulldogs. They're going to lose back to the 42. So it's going to be third and 11. So it is Adgerson, I believe, and I think I'm correct. 34, Troy Adgerson. Defensively making all those hits. Not going very far again is the Dario. Brown and Castellanos. Adgerson again. Got back to the line of scrimmage, it's going to be fourth down. So all of a sudden, English was giving up yardage, giving up first downs, and now they just said, that's enough. Pushed him back, it's going to be fourth down. Siula rolling, dumps it off, almost intercepted. Hill had dropped back nicely. And just slipped, otherwise he might have picked that off. So Peabody takes some time off the clock, moves the football down, but then gives it up. And English will take over at their 42 yard line. So the defense had enough of that heel drive with a couple of exceptions with Dario. And then incomplete pass, but it was all here originally. Byron Brown gets hit. He's going to lose a yard. Betancourt came in and took the pins out. So it'll be second down at just about 11. Maybe 11 and a foot. All just across the 40-yard line. They keep everybody in tight in that power eye. The pitch, Brown tries to cut it up inside and get short yardage. And it's going to bring up a third and long. Bobby Mason leading the play, trying to get a block and give Brown some room. He get out to the 43 for a pickup of two. Well, it's going to be third and just about nine. Rucker with that big first half. He's the tight end to the far side. They go power eye again. The pitch. This is Jesse Fowler with the carry. Gets around the corner. Gets a first down and a lot more. Inside the Peabody 40 yard line. He was on Sports Weekly. A couple of weeks ago, and kiddingly, I said to him, do you think maybe they might make you a running back? He said, no, I'm a quarterback. They put it down at the Peabody 40. That's a 17-yard run. He ran from the halfback spot that time. And looked pretty good doing. He's got good speed. Picked up 17 and a first down. English has it at the Peabody 40-yard line. Fowler, a little flea flicker, and he going to try and throw it. It looked like he slipped and fell. Hand it off, got the pitch back. He's going to lose yardage. Back to about the 48-yard line. A loss of eight on the play. So 
This is Brown, cuts it straight ahead and gets dragged down. He got the loss back plus a couple of yards as he gets it to the 38 yard line. He picked up 10. PB on that first drive opening the half, they got as many yards on that drive as they did in the first half, exactly 38. And he picked up three first downs, which is what they got in the first half, except one of them was by penalty. So they double their output. The pitch to Brown is a flag coming in. Keo and Ballesteros in on the stop. They just about got back to the line of scrimmage. PB may refuse this one because it's going to bring up a fourth down. So no gain on the play for Brown. It'll bring up a fourth and ten. The way the defense has been playing, I wouldn't expect English to punt here. If you punt it in the end zone, you're going to only pick up 18 yards, so. English is going to take a timeout. They were breaking the huddle, and I saw Justin Young coming off the sidelines, and a little indecision. So they're going to take a timeout and talk about it. It's fourth down and nine as they send wideouts everywhere. Rucker and Gervasio to the near side. Brown and Seaforth to the far side. Fowler looking to throw, in trouble. Dumps it off the screen pass to Azu. On the move, gets upended. Betancourt with the hit. There's a flag on the play downfield. Let's see what that's all about. It's going to be against English, I think. Azu's was catching run was enough for a first down, getting it down to the 26. But let's see what the penalty's all about. Holding against English. The penalty was at the 25 yard line. So they actually picked up 14 yards on the pass play to the 25. Now they get pushed back to the 35. Which makes it fourth and five. And now English is going to take one of those mini timeouts. We're in the third period. English kind of broke this one open late in the first half after a C fourth interception. The first play, Young to Rucker for 65 yards and a touchdown. They held Peabody, and with just under a minute left, they got the ball back at their 21 yard line after a pretty good punt by Peabody. Had pinned English deep. One play was an incomplete pass. The next play, Rucker again got behind the defense, ending one of the biggest halves we've seen by a receiver in a long time. He got behind, made the catch from Justin Young, 79 yards and a touchdown, giving him 211 yards and three touchdowns in the first half. English kind of broke it open, a 7-6 game, leading it now 23-6. to six. They have it fourth and five. The catch is made. That's Justin Young from Fowler, the two quarterbacks combining again. He just hooked up at the 25-yard line. 
Picked up 10 yards in a first down. Patterson on the quick hitter, straight ahead. They haven't run him since early in the first half. They just opened up a big hole in offensive line, and he just blew through it down to the 11. A big 14-yard scamper by the big guy. And another first down. English really looking to break this one open. He had 14 yards on three carries in the first half. He gets 14 yards on that carry here in the second half, and we get a timeout. Actually, that's the last play of the third period. So we've got a period of football left. English threatening to really broke this, break this one open. They already leave. Peabody needs three scores, trailing 23 to 6. But now they have their backs against the wall, with English having a first and 10 from the 11-yard line. This drive started back at their own 42. The big fourth down completion uh, from Fowler to Young. After Fowler hit Azu for 14 yards and penalty brought it back. Uh, another big 17-yard run by Fowler, so he's been instrumental in this drive that English has put together, hoping it will com culminate in another touchdown. Leading at 23-6 to six with 11 minutes of football left. They're 11 minutes away from celebrating Gary Malaya's 100th win as they send double wideouts to either side. And they give it to Troy Adjison. And I have to go back and say I apologize to Sam Gowar because 34 is Sam Gowar. 24 is Adjison. He's in the backfield now. So all the times I mentioned Sam Gowar, it was Sam Gowar. Adjison picks up three to the 11. So I mentioned both the names enough that it should satisfy both of them. But Sam Gowar has played really well defensively, and I'm glad we finally straightened that out. Patterson back in at the fullback spot behind Fowler. Fowler quickly. The catch by Gervasio looked like he was in the end zone. I don't think they're going to give it to him. He made the sliding catch, and they're going to put it down at the one-inch line. It'll be a first down, first and goal. And if they breathe on the football, it'll go into the end zone. They give it to Adjison off the right side. He backs his way in for a touchdown. And that makes it 29 to 6. Fifty-eight yards in twelve plays. A couple of big ones, a seventeen yard run by Fowler. The pass play that Got him 14, but then the penalty pushed it back. And then the big play from the two quarterbacks, Fowler to Young for 10 yards. The big 14-yard scamper by Patterson. The catch by Gervasio getting it to the one. And then Adjison taking it in from the one-inch line. And now the pass out is knocked away. 
Diefenbach had a shot of picking that off, but he just knocked it away. So unofficially, they can celebrate on the sideline Gary Malia's 100th win. Officially, they'll have to wait a little while. English leading at 29 to 6. They're going to pick up their fourth win against six losses. PB's going to drop to 1 and 9. And English gets a little momentum, a, a huge momentum boost going in to Thanksgiving Day against rival Classical. English picked up five first downs and I drive going in. They only had six first downs in the first half. Of course, they got three of them on the big touchdown runs by Rucker. Heo was a pretty good return. They'll get the ball across the 35. They'll put it at the 36. Actually, they put it just about at the 35. The defense, once again, coming up huge. They only gave up 32 yards of offense and really two first downs. One, they got three, but one was a penalty. Uh, Peabody trying to go with no huddle. They got to the 39 for a pickup of four. They go back to heel trying to get outside. He gets hit and knocked down. And here's Gawar again. For no gain. So it's going to be third and six from the 39. He'd be in a hurry up mode, trailing now by four scores. Siula rolling, dumping it off, and right there to make the hit. Castellanos has been all over all the receivers. They picked up a yard on the play. He's played very well defensively. It's going to be fourth and five from the 40 yard line. And if you Peabody. Probably say, probably go for it, because what difference does it make if you lose 35 to 6 or 29 to 6? But they're going to kick it away. Provincia gets it away, takes a pretty good Peabody bounce. English will stay away from it, and it's going to die right at the 20 yard line. So English can run a lot of time off the clock here. About to celebrate their fourth win and about to celebrate, more importantly, Gary Malay's 100th win. We're in the fourth quarter, 29 to six. English put it away with three big touchdown passes to Rucker in the first half, 211 yards. They run it straight ahead with Azu. He'll be the main ingredient in the backfield next year. They're pointing towards Peabody. Personal foul against Peabody. They get out, English get out to the 24 for a pickup of four. And now Peabody's going to pick up a penalty. I think it's their first. I think they had a motion penalty in the first half. But they'll move it out to the 39 yard line. That'll give English a first down.
Going to carry out to the 44 for a pickup of five. Second down and five for the Bulldogs. Really shortening this game up. Keeping the clock running. Byron Brown. Looks like he's got a first down. As he gets out to midfield. And that'll be enough for a first down. They move the chains, move the clock. And you think of what could have been English with five wins and six losses. Uh, four, this will be four wins and six losses, but close games with Swampscott and Winthrop and Beverly. And a tough game against Salem in a monsoon. Could very easily be on the winning side of the stat sheet. He'll be second and eight for the dogs at the Peabody 48 yard line. To give to Azu off the right side, gets to the 41. Picked up seven, he's going to be about a yard or a half a yard shy of a first down. It's going to be third down, and we'll call it a yard for the dogs at the 41 yard line of Peabody. We're in the fourth quarter. This one put away a long time ago. English leading at 29 to 6. And remember, this is a very young English team. They got some good players coming back next year. Bouncing it to the outside, and here's one of them, Phil Larkin. Just coming off a pretty good Pup Warner season, stepping up into the high school ranks, and we're going to bring it back. That would have been a first down, but it's going to come back. Holding against English. They bring it back to midfield. Amounts to a nine yard penalty. The pitch turning the corner and getting some pretty good yardage is Luis Rijo, a young Samoa. Gets it to, we'll call it the 42. Give him eight. English will be a couple of yards shy of a first down on fourth down. Trying to get outside and get around the corner and not getting there. And I can't tell you who it is because I don't have a 32 on my the roster that I have, but they're going to lose back to the 44 and Peabody will take over. This little last drive has put English over 100 yards rushing with 250 yards passing. So it puts them over well over 300 yards. People who have one last shot to get on the scoreboard Trailing it 29 to 6 as we have a timeout called by Peabody. They'll have the ball at their own 
44. Fowler, 98 yards passing. Young, 152 yards passing. Young, two touchdowns, Fowler, one touchdown. Rucker, three catches for 211 yards. And the name of the game today has been throwing the football. Even to the point where the two quarterbacks have combined, once on a two-point conversion and once on a big fourth down play to keep the drive alive that turned into a spilling into the fourth period, a touchdown ending a 12-play, 58-yard drive. They didn't give Gervasio the touchdown when he caught it, sliding into the end zone. They put him down about less than a stripe of a football away, and then Adjison banged it in for the score. Harker did all his damage in the first half, and there were two other incompletions where he, he was four or five yards behind the defense, and the pass was incomplete. Defense back, hurdles one, knocked down by Ricky Williams. He gets into English territory at the English 48. He picked up eight. Eula rolling in trouble, turns the corner and finally bumped out of bounds. But he'll get a first down. Too much Charlie Rucker in this one in the first half. This is Heel banging it, knocked down by Ricky Williams. Gets it to the 37 for a pickup of four. Second down and six for the Tanners. Whiteouts right and left eye formation behind Ciula. Dropping back, looking to throw. Let's it fly deep. Coming back and making the nice catch. Now they say no catch. Going to the turf, it was underthrown. The receiver came back and tried to make the catch. And at the last second, it hit the turf incomplete. So it'll be third and six. English scored in the third play of the football game. Fowler to Charlie Rucker, 67 yards. Garudi's kick was good right now. That's the difference in the game. Made it 7 nothing. Kevin Scott picked off a pass and ran it 41 yards to get Peabody as close as they're ever going to get. And that was 7-6 to six as D'Addario takes it down into the secondary. Knocked down by Chris Rook. He picks up a big first down. English with all of their first team out. Down the 22, a 15-yard pickup. And then English struck quickly. Seaforth intercepted a pass. The next play, 65 yards. Young to Rucker for the touchdown. They came back after a punt. Two plays, Young to Rucker, 79 yards. As Diefenbach breaks a couple of tackles and slides inside the 10. 79 yards for the touchdown. Fowler went to Javas uh, Young went to Javasio on the first touchdown. Fowler went to Young for the second touchdown. And it was 23-6 at halftime. 
English on their first possession of the second half went 58 yards in 12 plays. Big plays along the way. Fowler ran for 17. Fowler to Aruza for 14. Dan Douglas making the hit for no gain on the play. For heel. A big play was Fowler to Young on a fourth down, picking up 10, picking up the first down. Patterson rumbled for a big 14 yards in the first down, getting it to the 11. After Adgerson picked up three, Fowler to Gervasio for seven. It looked like a touchdown, but they put it at the one inch line. And then it was Troy Adgerson banging it in from the one to make it 29 to six, and that's where we are right now. Young, three completions for 152 yards and two touchdowns. Rucker, three catches for 211. Fowler with four completions for 98 to go along with a touchdown. Young has got two touchdown passes. Fowler and Young both passing for two-point conversions as Diefenbach trips and falls. Looked like he came uh, together with quarterback Seuler and just fell down. It's going to bring up a third and goal from the eight as PBD takes a timeout with the ball game winding down. So English is going to pick up their fourth win. They're going to go to four and six. PB is going to drop to one and nine. PB will take on Malden Catholic on Wednesday night, night before Thanksgiving at six. English in Turkey Day against Classical in the big one. Throw the window, throw the records out the window, and it will be for the bragging rights for the city of Lynn as well the night before Lynn Tech and St. Mary's. But uh, just to go over the scoring one more time during the timeout, Fowler to Rucker for 67, Garuti with the kick, it was 7 nothing. Kevin Scorp with that nice defensive play, picking off the pass, going 41 to make it 7 to 6. Justin Young to Rucker for 65, Young to Gervasio for the conversion, made it 15 to 6. And then L very late, Young to Rucker, 79 yards, followed to Young for the conversion, 23 to 6. Adgerson from a yard made it 29 to 6, and that's where we are as Ciula drops the ball. Nobody ever did recover it. He just dropped the snap, and now we got a penalty coming up against Peabody for motion. I was wondering why nobody was jumping on the football. It was loose but they didn't bother with it because the whistle had been blown. I didn't hear the whistle, I didn't see the flag until late. Stephen back with the carry, just running it straight ahead. Gets it down to the six for a pickup of seven. And it's fourth down. English defense played extremely well. The one touchdown given up was against the offense, an interception. The starting defense has been out of there for a while for the Bulldogs. Siula looking to throw. Tipped and knocked away. We got a flag. I think they're going to call interference. Diefenbach was looking for the catch. And it looked like English stepped in front, made a nice play, and knocked it away. But the flag came in late, and that usually means either a hold or interference. So PB's going to get another shot at this. If it's a hold, it'll be half the distance. They'll move it to the three. If it's interference in the end zone, they'll put it at the one. They're discussing it now. And I think they're going to mark it off from the line of scrimmage. It is interference. It was not in the end zone, so they're going to mark it off from the six. They'll mark it down to the three.
Tiefenbach runs it in. That gives him maybe a little momentum going into Turkey Day. As they do it against the backups for the Bulldogs. They'll go for two. Sula rolling, dumping it off. Incomplete. Looking for deep and back. And that's just about going to do the trick. They'll kick off to the Bulldogs. And the game is going to be history. As we mentioned before, English will go to four and six. People will drop to one and nine. They'll get ready for Turkey Day. And a big day by the two quarterbacks. Young, seven. Completed three for 152 yards and two touchdowns to Rucker. Fowler completed four for 98 yards and a touchdown to Rucker. Everybody getting in the act for Rucker. Young also caught a, a pass for a two-point conversion. Both quarterbacks threw a pass for a two-point conversion. Gervasio catching one. Obviously Young, the other one. Garuti kicked an extra point. English with 109 yards rushing, 250 yards passing, 13 first downs. Rucker, the ace of the day with three catches for 211 yards, all of them coming in the first half. And will we see an onside kick here? And yes, we do. And good hands up front. By Mike Lynch. Not the Channel 5 announcer, but the upfront guy for the Bulldogs, getting it at the English 46. So Rucker for 67, Rucker for 65, Rucker for 79. In that first half, they open up what amounted to a three score lead, 23 to 6. Adjacent. Added the cream on the Sunday, making it 29 to 6 with the one yard burst. The defense outstanding for the Bulldogs, really shutting out PB. The one touchdown they got against the, came against the offense as the knee is taken by Paradise Hogan as they're going to run the clock out. The one touchdown was an interception when the first string defense was out there. PB did. Get a drive going. Going 56 yards in 10 plays with Diefenbach going in from the three. But not enough as it's 29 to 12 and Gary Malaya will get a bath. Congratulations to Gary Malaya on his 100th win at Lynn English, uh, his 100th coaching win. Led by Charlie Rucker with three catches for 211 yards and three touchdowns and English wins it by a score of 29 to 12 over Peabody. They go to four and six, and it's on to Thanksgiving Day against Classical. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time on TV 15.